Unlike many languages, Icelandic has only very minor dialectal differences in sounds. The language has both monophthongs and diphthongs, and many consonants can be voiced or unvoiced. Icelandic has an aspiration contrast between plosives, rather than a voicing contrast, similar to standard Chinese. Preaspirated voiceless stops are also common. However, fricative and sonorant consonant phonemes exhibit regular contrasts in voice, including in nasals rare in the world's languages. Additionally, length is contrastive for consonants, but not vowels. In Icelandic, the main stress is always on the first syllable. Consonants The number and nature of the consonant phonemes in modern Icelandic is subject to broad disagreement, due to a complex relationship among consonant allophones. Major allophones Even the number of major allophones is subject to some dispute, although less than for phonemes. The following is a chart of potentially contrastive phones important phonetic distinctions which minimally contrast in some positions with known phonemes, not a chart of actual phonemes, according to one analysis Thrainson 1994 N, N, L, L, are alveolar N, N, L, L, whereas, T, T, are dental T, T, S, is an apical alveolar sibilant fricative, whereas, theta, are alveolar non-sibilant fricatives, THF. The former is laminal, while the latter is usually apical. Note that the alveolar non-sibilant fricatives are not contrastive in any language and so have no dedicated IPA symbols. They are broadly transcribed with theta, which nominally denote dental fricatives. Voiceless continuants, f, s, theta, c, x, h, are always constrictive f, s, t, h, c, x, h, but voiced continuants, v, j, are not very constrictive and are often closer to approximants eth, j, than fricatives v, eth. The rhotic consonants may either be trills r, r, or taps, depending on the speaker. Acoustic analysis reveals that the voiceless lateral approximant l is, in practice, usually realized with considerable frication, especially word finally or syllable finally, i. e., essentially as a voiceless alveolar lateral fricative. Scholten 2000 includes three extra phones, namely the glottal stop, voiceless velarized alveolar lateral approximant l, and its voiced counterpart l. A large number of competing analyses have been proposed for Icelandic phonemes. The problems stem from complex but regular alternations and mergers among the above phones in various positions. Topic: <inaudible> Alternations. Examples of alternations across different positions: p f tep t a p uncertain fem tat t aft uncertain newt. P F V grapha K R A V A to dig grafta crafta to dig grafna crapna to dig K X J segi S J I say S A G T saxed was said sagi saw I said sonya sakna of stories voiced consonants are devoiced word finally before a pause so that dag day A C C is pronounced as ta X bow bid one third pers S G Past is pronounced as poe theta, and gaff gave one third pers. Sg is pronounced as ka f. Even sonorants can be affected. Dagur ta r de nom dot sg kettle c tl kettle acc. Topic restrictions. Topic. Dorsal consonants velar, palatal, glottal. The glottal fricative H actually a placeless approximant only occurs initially before a vowel, and following a vowel in the sequences H -p -h -t -h -k -h -c, these latter sequences are sometimes said to be unitary, pre-aspirated stops, see below. The voiceless velar fricative x occurs only between a vowel and s or t, and initially as a variant of k before v. Because it does not contrast with k in either position, it can be seen as an allophone of k. However, it also alternates with occurring before a pause where would be pronounced otherwise. There are two sets of palatal sounds. 
alternating palatals CCJ alternate with the velars KKX while non alternating palatals CJ do not note that J appears twice here these two J S behave differently occur in different distributions and are denoted by different letters G and J this suggests that they may belong to different phonemes and that is indeed a common analysis in general the alternating palatals CCJ are restricted to appearing before vowels Velars KKX are restricted to appearing everywhere except before front vowels. In other words, before back vowels and front rounded vowels, both palatals and velars can appear, before front unrounded vowels only palatals can appear, before consonants only velars can appear. For the non-alternating palatals CJ, both can appear at the beginning of a word, followed by a vowel. Elsewhere, only one can occur, which must occur after a non-velar, non-palatal consonant. J occurs before a vowel, and C occurs in a few words at the end of a word following PTKS. The velars and alternating palatals are distributed as follows Initially or at beginning of syllable, only the four stops KKCC can appear. After S that begins a syllable, only KC. Between vowels, only KCJ. After a vowel, finally or before V or R, only K. After a vowel, before only. After a vowel, before l only k. After a vowel, before nasals only kk. After a vowel, before st only x. Although the facts are complex, it can be noticed that only ever contrasts with one of the two velar stops, never with both, and hence can be taken as an allophone of whichever one doesn't appear in a given context. Alternatively, following the orthography, can be taken as an allophone of where k is taken as an allophone of either k or depending on context following the orthography topic alveolar non sibilant fricatives in native vocabulary the fricatives theta and are allophones of a single phoneme theta theta is used morpheme initially as in ak theta a k roof and before a voiceless consonant as in macor ma theta ker worm is used intervocalically, as in ia a vortex, and word finally, as in ba pa eth bath, although it is devoiced to theta before pause. Some loanwords, mostly from classical Greek, have introduced the phone theta in intervocalic environments, as in ana a theta na Athens. The phone theta is actually a laminal voiceless alveolar non sibilant fricative. The corresponding voiced phone eth is similar, but is apical rather than laminal, Latifoged and Madison 1996. Topic. Voiceless sonorants Of the voiceless sonorants L, R, N, M, only L, R, N, occur in word initial position, for example in ne, N, J, ni. Only in initial position do the voiceless sonorants contrast with the corresponding voiced sonorants. Finally, before aspirated consonants and after voiceless consonants only the voiceless sonorants appear, elsewhere, only the voiced sonorants appear. This makes it clear that m are non-phonemic. Recently, there has been an increasing tendency, especially among children, to pronounce initial hn as voiced, e.g. nefer nivir, knife, rather than standard n ivr. Topic: <laughs> Palatal and velar nasals. The palatal nasals appear before palatal stops, and the velar nasals. Before velar stops, in these positions, the alveolar nasals and n do not occur. Appears also before l and s through the deletion of k in the consonant clusters kl and ks. The palatal nasals are clearly non-phonemic, although there is some debate about due to the common deletion of k. Topic aspiration and length contrasts medial and final modern Icelandic is often said to have a rare kind of stops, the so-called pre-aspirated stops PTCK, e.g. lop LP, foot, which occur only after a vowel and do not contrast with sequences HPHTHCHK, which do not occur in Icelandic. Latifoged and Madison 1996 note that phonetically, in Icelandic pre-aspirated stops the aspiration is longer than in normal post-aspirated stops, and is indistinguishable from sequences H -p -h -t -h -c -h -k or with X replacing H occurring in other languages, hence, they prefer to analyze the pre-aspirated stops as sequences. For example, Icelandic not, daughter correspond to German nacht, tochter. 
Following vowels there is a complex alternation among consonant length, vowel length and aspiration. The following table shows the alternations in medial and final position and Madison 1996. .In most analyses, consonant length is seen as phonemic while vowel length is seen as determined entirely by environment, with long vowels occurring in stressed syllables before single consonants and before certain sequences formed of a consonant plus VRJ, and short vowels occurring elsewhere. Note that diphthongs also occur long and short. Topic: <laughs> Phonemes. As discussed above, the phones m, x, probably, and debatably, are non-phonemic. Beyond this, there is a great deal of debate both about the number and identity of the phonemes in Icelandic and the mapping between phonemes and allophones. There are a number of different approaches. Phonetic versus orthographic The phonetic approach. This approach tries to stay as close as possible to the phonetics. This would assume, for example, that k and k should be consistently analyzed in all contexts as phonemic k and k, respectively or perhaps as an archiphoneme k, in positions where the two do not contrast, and that hk is a phonemic sequence, hk, or possibly a unitary pre-aspirated k. The orthographic approach e.g. Thrainson 1978 this approach takes the orthography i.e. the spelling as approximately indicative of the underlying phonemes this approach generally assumes for example phonemes k and which occur in accordance with the orthography i.e. k where written k where written g where k has allophones k k and x depending on the context and has allophones k and x, h k is analyzed as k, or k k, while k k is analyzed as again consistent with the orthography. A variant would assume that k, and merge into an archiphoneme k, in contexts where the two cannot be distinguished, e.g. before, s, or, t, where both would be pronounced as x. Note that in this approach, a particular phone will often be an allophone of different phonemes depending on context, e.g. k would be taken as initially, but k, between vowels, maximalist versus minimalist. The maximalist approach. This approach generally takes the contrasting phones as unit phonemes unless there is a good reason not to. This would assume, for example, that the palatal stops cc, voiceless sonorants l, r, n, and perhaps the velar nasal are separate phonemes, at least in positions where they cannot be analyzed as allophones of other unitary phonemes e.g. initially for the voiceless sonorants, before, l, and, s, for the velar nasal. The minimalist approach. This approach analyzes phones as clusters whenever possible, in order to reduce the number of phonemes and, in some cases, better account for alternations. This would assume, for example, that the palatal stops, voiceless sonorants and velar nasal, are phonemic clusters, in accordance with the orthography. In structuralist analyses, which passed out of vogue starting in the 1960s as generative approaches took off, even more extreme minimalist approaches were common. An example is Haugen 1958. Although he presents more than one analysis, the most minimal analysis not only accepts all the clusters indicated in the orthography, but also analyzes the aspirates as sequences, bh, h, dh, or ph, kh, th, depending on how the non-aspirate stops are analyzed and reduces all vowels and diphthongs down to a set of six vowels. The main advantage of the phonetic approach is its simplicity compared with the orthographic approach. A major disadvantage, however, is that it results in a large number of unexplained lexical and grammatical alternations. Under the orthographic approach, for example, especially if a minimalist approach is also adopted, all words with the root sag, seg, say, have a phonemic, despite the varying phones k, x, j, occurring in different lexical and inflectional forms, and similarly all words with the root sac, blame, have a phonemic, k, despite the varying phones k, k, h, k. Under the phonetic approach, however, the phonemes would vary depending on the context as complicated and seemingly arbitrary ways. Similarly, an orthographic analysis of three words for white, vitur havit havit, kv tur, kvt, kviht, mask sg, fem sg, newt sg, as kviter, kvit, kvitt, allows for a simple analysis of the forms as a root, kvit, plus endings, r, t, and successfully explains the surface alternation, it, it, iht, which would not be possible in a strictly phonetic approach. 
Assuming a basically orthographic approach, the set of phonemes in Icelandic is as follows. The parentheses indicate phonemes present in a maximalist analysis but not a minimalist analysis. There is a particular amount of debate over the status of c and c. A maximalist analysis sees them as separate phonemes e.g. and c respectively, while in a minimalist analysis they are allophones of k and before front unrounded vowels and of the sequences kj and j before rounded vowels in accordance with the orthography. The maximalist approach accords with the presence of minimal pairs like jola sula, light wind versus gola kola, howl, and kyola ciola, dresses versus kola, kaola, kola, along with general speakers' intuitions. However, the minimalist approach e Rogenwaldsen accounts for some otherwise unexplained gaps in the system e.g. the absence of palatal, velar contrasts except before rounded vowels, and the absence of phonetic j after velars and palatals, as well as otherwise unexplained alternations between palatals and velars in e.g. segi cj I say versus sagi sa I said, assuming that j and are taken as allophones of palatal and velar stops, respectively. On the other hand, the number of such alternations is not as great as for stop versus fricative alternations. Most lexical items consistently have either velars or palatals. The voiceless sonorants are straightforwardly taken as allophones of voiced sonorants in most positions, because of lack of any contrast, similarly for c versus j. On the other hand, l, r, n, c do contrast with l, r, n, j in initial position, suggesting that they may be phonemes in this position, consistent with a maximalist analysis. A minimalist analysis, however, would note the restricted distribution of these phonemes, the lack of contrast in this position with sequences h, l, r, h, n, h, j and the fact that similar sequences k, l, k, r, k, n do occur, and analyze l, r, n, c as per hectoliter hour h, n, h, j, in accordance with the orthography. The velar nasal is clearly an allophone of n before a velar stop. When it occurs before l or s as a result of deletion of an intervening k, however, some scholars analyze it as a phoneme, while others analyze it as a sequence, e.g., n. Topic: <laughs> Vowels. There is less disagreement over the vowel phonemes in Icelandic than the consonant phonemes. The old Icelandic vowel system involving phonemic length was transformed to the modern system where phonetic length is automatically determined by the syllable structure. In the process of eliminating vowel length, however, relatively few vowel distinctions have been lost, as the loss of phonemic length has been offset by an increase in the number of quality distinctions and diphthongs. I, U, are similar to the respective cardinal vowels I, U. are phonetically near close O are true mid monophthongs, when short and opening diphthongs, also transcribed as e, o stroke, o when long. The long allophones are typically transcribed, also in this article. A is central, a, i, has a front onset, a, while, o, has a back onset. Topic vowel length Vowel length is mostly predictable in Icelandic or Resnick and Paterson 1977. Stressed vowels both monophthongs and diphthongs are long, in one-syllable words where the vowel is word-final, fa fow, get nei nei no u theta u, u singular before a single consonant, fara fa ra go has how s horse vecchia vca wake someone up egg jx i spire spr I ask before any of the consonant clusters P R T R K R senior P J T J K J S J or T V K V. This is often shortened to the rule if the first of the consonants is one of P T K S and the second is one of J V R, then the vowel is long. This is known as the P T K S plus J V R rule. An exception occurs if there is a T before the infix K. Examples are E G, not Kun and Litka. There are also additional exceptions like um and fram where the vowel is short in spite of rules and n, where the vowel length depends on the context, lipra lpra agile accusative feminine citra psi tra sweet genitive plural acra akra fields accusative plural hasra how sra horse genitive plural vepa vpja lapwing letja ltja dissuade esja sja esja vecchia vca awaken gotva ktva 
VA as in upgotva discover vokva VKVA water verb G shows a peculiar behavior. If we have the combination V plus GI, then the vowel V is short and the G is then pronounced J. In the combinations V plus G plus V the second vowel not being I the first vowel is long and G is pronounced An example, logi li flame, nominative singular versus logar lr flames, nominative plural before other consonant clusters including the preaspirated stops hphthk and geminate consonants, stressed vowels are short. Unstressed vowels are always short. Carl K -A -R -T -L, Carl Standa Standa Stand Schalfer Shalviar Self Kenna Sienna Teach Fint Fint T Fine Loft Lf Air Up HP Up Eerie R as in Nyeri Neologism Aitla Aihtla will verb Lost Lowest Loose <laughs>